All right, George, right out of the gate. UVA looking strong here at the uh, Clarion Open. You know, a couple champs already, but uh, looking at it, you're one of their first champs. Um, how do you feel, first off, Nye wins, Fox wins. We don't know if you're gonna register Fox. You're the leader in the team. What do you gotta do to lead UVA to be competitive for an ACC title? And you, you've been in the round of 12 before. Yeah. What do you gotta do to, to get it done this year? Uh, I think it's just gotta lead by example. And Coach Garland really appreciated us at the beginning of the year at the banquet. You know, we gotta focus on the little things. It's the little things that make the difference at this point. Cutting our weight right, doing well in school, getting enough sleep. It's, it's all those things that make a, a little difference, and I think what made the difference last year, which we have to move, uh, do moving forward this year, is just coming together as a team positively. We had a rough stretch last year in the, dual meet, the ACC dual meet season where you know, we were two and three and ranked fourth in the conference, and what really made the difference is us coming together as a team, as brothers, and wrestling together. And I think that's what we got to do moving forward. We, I have to lead by example, and I think things will work out. No, Blaze. You and... Blaze, Blaze is a year older than you, I think. Yeah. Blaze, year older. Blaze goes to graduate school at Mizzou. How has that affected the team? The guy is just like, that guy can beat anyone in the country. Him not coming back. How has that affected UVA and UVA wrestling? Um, I think it's motivated a lot of people. Uh, this year we have a really young team. I mean, it's definitely obvious by our lineup we're going to send out next week. But, uh, you know, it's going to be different this year in a sense that you know, we don't know where we stand this year. We could be a really good team or we could be, have a really down year. And it's time for the, the first and second year sort of could potentially be in the lineup. It's going to be exciting to see if they, you know, rise up to the challenge or take their lumps. And like any first year, I'm sure they will take a few lumps. But, you know, having plays leave really motivated me and Zach Nye as leaders of the team to really step up our game. But it also motivated the first years to, you know, right out of the gate, they could they can make an impact on this program. Garland is like one of the most ultra positive, motivated guys I've ever seen. Is it just what we see or is that guy always like that? He's always like that. He's a big ball of energy and he brings so much passion to what he does and I admire him so much for it. He really, truly loves what he does and as a mentor for me, he's been nothing but a positive influence on me. He's he's the reason that wrestling's fun for me and, and I just love him for it. All, all the coaches, Jordan, Coach Gavin, Shelton, they just make it so much fun. They always bring such a light energy to the room and it, it makes something like when you're cutting weight, feeling down, you know, it, it really helps having those guys be you know, positive. Like you said, gone, big ball of energy, it helps a lot. Looking at, you know, there's something that a hater in me is coming out. I don't know if you know this, what I'm about to tell you. St. Ignatius did not make <laughs> the state playoffs in football. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on that? Honestly, this is one of the first years that I didn't really follow the season that much. Probably a good year. <laughs> good year to not follow. So, last night I was in my hotel room and Gus Seiko texted me. And he was, Zed's beat him. Yeah, because that's obviously... Last he had, game. He yeah. had to rub it in a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he texted me. He's like, how do you feel? You know, how's the weight cut, whatever. And he got to the subject. He's like, you know what today was, right? I was like... Holy one. I was like, uh, no. What's going on? He goes, oh, your boys just lost to Ed's in football. So, you know, he had to rub it in a little bit. And I didn't really follow it too much this year, but you know, I'm sure they'll bounce back. Uh, they, <laughs> always, they, have, they have a rich tradition. I, I had to bring it up. Yeah. All right, bud, you get anything else for me? No, go who's. All right, man, congratulations on the title today. Where's the helmet? Oh, it's in the, it's upstairs. All right, good luck traveling with that. Thanks.